Hey guys, so we are now going to practice using a number line to do multiplication. So you will need the handout that says camping checklist. It says math Monday. And we're fixing to go camping and we're going to open some envelopes with some essentials that I need to pack. And um, we are going to, it says circle the multiples um, of each item on our, um, we're actually going to use our number line to record the multiplication. So let's look at our first envelope and we have pairs of socks that we're going to need to bring with us on our trip. And I have two packs of socks and in each pack I have eight socks. Okay, so that means that my equation would be two times eight because I have two groups of eight. So I have two groups, one, two, and there's eight socks in each group. So my number line, I'm going to be jumps. So I'm actually going to be doing two jumps of eight. Okay. And so I'm starting at zero. So my first jump, I'm going to make sure I go to eight. So you can go ahead and number your lines. This would be one, two, three, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay, so I'm starting at zero and I'm going to go to eight. Okay, so that would be plus eight. So that's my first jump. I need two jumps. So I'm going to jump again and I'm going to count eight more. So I'm going to start at nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's plus eight. So two jumps of eight would give me 16. So I would have 16 pairs of socks. Okay, so you saw how we did that. 2 times 8 equals 16, so I'm doing 2 jumps of 8. 1, 2. Okay, let's look at our next item we will need for our camping trip. And so our next envelope is matches. So in order to start fires on our camping trip so we can eat food and keep warm, we would need matches. So I have 1, 2, three boxes of matches, okay, and each box has six. So I have one, two, three, so that means I have three groups of six. So that would be three times six, and I don't know, I'm gonna use my number line to find my answer. So that means that I'm going to be making three jumps of six. So I'm going to be jumping three times by six. Okay. So we have, we can kind of number our line. So we're starting at zero, and remember, we're jumping to six. So one, two, three, four, five, so six. So plus six, that's one jump. You gotta do three. So let's count out six more. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Plus six. That's two jumps. I need three jumps. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means there are 18 boxes of matches. So guys, if you notice, I'm jumping by six, okay? So six, 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 okay? So I have six, 12, 18. Six, 12, so six, 12, 18. It's like if I was skip counting. 
So if I was skip counting, I'd be 6, 12, 18. Okay. So when we do three times six, this number is telling me how many times I'm, how many jumps I'm making and by what am I jumping by? So I'm jumping by sixes. Okay. I'm going to do three jumps by six. So one, two, three. So plus the six, plus six, plus six, plus six. So I'm jumping three times and I'm counting by sixes. So six plus six plus six. Okay. Let's try another one. So my third envelope, let's see what supplies am I going to need for my camping trip. Band-aids. You never know when you will get hurt on your camping trip. So let me see. How many bait boxes are we needing? So one, two, three, four. So I have four boxes of band-aids, and each box has five breathable band-aids okay so that means i have four groups of five one two there's four groups and each group has five so each box has five so that's four times five so if i'm going to use my number line four groups of five would be four jumps of five, okay? And this time I'm not gonna write our numbers. We're gonna do this differently. So I need to make sure I'm jumping by five. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. So here's my first jump, okay? Gotta keep going, I'm counting by five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's five. I count five more. One, two, three, let's see. Let's see, one, two, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five. That would make that 20. Okay, so four times five is 20. Actually, I messed up on my counting. One, two, three, four, five. It'll be right there. Fifteen and then twenty. Okay. So we count by five. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So one, two, three, four, we did four jumps of five, which is 20. So like we, that would be 20 band-aids. So it's like if we're skip counting, guys, I have five, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so I want you to do the last one on your own. So let's look at our envelope and see what supplies we're needing. Um batteries because we may take some um maybe a radio maybe something that ha no, you don't use a, you don't you have electricity out when you're camping but you may need batteries to power things so let's see how many boxes of batteries we, we have so i have one two three four five six seven okay so we have seven groups and there are seven boxes and each box has three batteries, okay? So I can say seven groups of three. So that means that we are gonna be doing three jumps. No, ah, I messed that up. We're gonna be doing seven jumps of three. Okay, so seven times three. So on my number line, I want you to show me what that would look like. So you're gonna be starting at zero 
and you're going to be doing seven jumps and you're going to be jumping by three. Okay. When you finish, don't worry about the bottom part. Take a picture of just this part. Okay. So you don't have to take a picture of the front. You can just take a picture of this part so I can see your answer. So seven jumps of three guys. <laughs> 